Hi and welcome to Makeup Mug Want. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, so I got a quick Christmas stocking haul and let's get ready. So I have primed with YSL Touche Claw Blur, uh, Jack of Black 2.0 Corrector. Let's get into it. Um, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light in the shade Intensity 1.0. I have pulled this a while ago. It's about half gone. I mean, I've used a good amount of this over the years, I guess. And I, uh, I pulled it out to use it and have enjoyed it. I really have. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly brush it on with the Expert Face Brush, face brush from Real Techniques and then Blend with the sponge over top. And get going. So, at my house, this year is very different, obviously. But this year, for our Christmas holiday, because we celebrate Christmas here, we, we had my sister and husband and children over on Christmas Eve. They are in our bubble. They are the only family in our bubble. <laughs> and they also all got tested um, two days ago and all came back negative. So they were just being sure and checking because he does work outside of the house. Uh, she does not, and my husband and I do not. So we have not left to do anything or see anyone. Um, so their, their family got tested and they all came back negative. So we were good to go to celebrate. We had Christmas Eve at my home for lunch. We had taco, nacho, bar, the whole thing. So that's tradition for me to make tacos for Christmas. <laughs> so we had it on Christmas Eve. We watched Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas because that is also a tradition to watch that movie. And we watched that this year, and it was great. I was so glad that we got to do that together. And then uh, opened our presents, and my dad and stepmom had dropped off gifts. My grandmother had sent gifts to my sister's house, so we opened all those and had a grand old time. Got my niece a skateboard. She's five, going on 35, and... Uh, so she rode around that inside my house for a couple of hours until we kicked him out. <laughs> we had a lovely time and I'm so glad that we did. Um, it's the best. So Mr. Mugwump and I spend Christmas Day every year, pandemic or no, we spend Christmas Day by, with just us. We do whatever we want. We don't go anywhere. We don't see anyone. We Christmas Day is our day. It's always been that way. And it's so it's amazing and I love it. We are both introverted people so spending a lot of time with other people drains our energy and usually at the holidays we need a break and so the day of Christmas is that break. We will see the only other person in our bubble on Saturday and that is my best friend Lindsay. She's gonna come over and we'll eat and probably watch the Christmas special show of Ben de la Creme and Jinx Monsoon. I'm going to go ahead and, I guess, rent that or buy that. I'm not sure how, but uh, that was something that we were going to do together. So we'll watch a drag show together. <laughs> As you do with your friends on Christmas. And... Uh, have some of the coolest presents in the world for her. She's the fun person. Well, I buy fun gifts for a lot of people, but she's the person that um, I take great pride in finding the weirdest things for her. So we got a couple of weird ones this year. So I'm excited to give those to her. That's gorgeous. Okay. Um, this, <laughs> this look um, is going to be, I got a couple of new products 
um, specifically in my stocking. So on Christmas Day, Mr. Mugwump is forced by all things nature to uh, provide me with a stocking. And uh, he also provides me each year with an Easter basket. It is a thing that he does not do in his family, but I do in mine. So he had to adapt that and I appreciate him. So in my stocking this morning, I'll show you what I got. Some of the products that I got in there. I got candies. He got Andy's mints for me. Oh my God, I love those. Um, but I got, he also does, he's a good sheet masker. So we got the Tony Moly. Um, I'm Pearl. I'm Hemp. And then he got some that are like the faces of the animals when you put them on. Um, I've already used one. The koala one I've already used. There's a picture up on my Instagram if you want to see what that looks like. But this is uh, the animal cat face. And then he got one of the dragon. And it looks like that's what the mask looks like when you put it on your face. It is so much fun. Uh, I love them so much. So I used the koala this morning uh, as I was kind of setting up to start filming. And it was very soothing. And uh, it was very hydrating. So... I'm super glad that I used it, but that was a lot of fun. So that was, that's one thing that he's, he's really good at picking things like that out. He also got me an eyeshadow palette. This is the LA Girl Neons. I have a little dull ended brush. Haven't, haven't ever used, I don't think I have any of these LA Girl palettes before, but this is this one. Um, and we will probably do like a swatch party look with that at some point and then he also picked up something else I don't have he's good at this this is the Makeup Revolution Sofex a highlighter palette I do have for eyeshadow palettes and enjoy them very much so we'll use this uh, today in this look I love this it's gorgeous so excited to use that and <laughs> y'all he bought me a MAC Fix Plus this is the the scent shade it is uh lime and an orange i think it's the citrus they have he said they had a lot of different scents out and so he bought me a mac fix plus so that's lovely i love it so much um and like a bath thing and like some stuff like that so anyway, um stocking this year 10 out of 10 as usual so this morning um opened stocking and immediately started filming. I finished out my Nutcracker series this morning with the Nutcracker himself. Did a makeup look inspired by the Nutcracker and that should be up on my channel. It has been a series on my channel uh, since the beginning of the month. I've done four looks based on characters from the Nutcracker. Did Clara. That's beyond my abilities. At the this moment. heifer. It's beyond my abilities at this moment. Uh, I did the Nutcracker, the Rat King Clara, and the Sugar Plum Fairy. So, <clears throat> quite a quite an array of makeup looks and styles, and had a great time doing it. So, 10 out of 10 points to Gryffindor for my sister suggesting that as a theme this year. I think she's already got next year's theme picked out. My younger sister is a Christmas fiend like seriously and so she's ready to go for next year she's fabulous but anyway uh brows by it cosmetic brow it cosmetics brow power pencil just real quick and we will set with the catrice here it's a giant wand but if i'm careful i can make it work just a real quick set here Today, I want to do a simple kind of smoky look because after this video, I film ye old eyeshadow collection video that is next. And so if you are interested in seeing that, it will be up on my channel shortly. I think, let me set real quick. I don't think I want to do any palette, I mean, any cream face products. So let me go ahead and set. I'll use the Your Minerals, My Minerals, Your Minerals, whatever, Your Minerals from Sweden. This is, I got this in a box years ago and it's a real lightweight, you know, just a super finely milled powder. 
and it's it's just it's transparent it doesn't have any color so that's great and then I'm gonna set my face with something I just pulled this is the Laura Geller baked balance and brighten foundation in porcelain and we're gonna set all over with a big fluffy brush and then I am gonna go kind of buff a little bit in some places that I want some more coverage I have used up several of these Laura Geller baked foundations in the past and love them. I think they're a beautiful product and I love them. So that's kind of all over set and then I'm gonna take a much more concentrated brush. This happens to be a Pat McGrath brush and I wanna buff just kind of where I want the extra coverage and this works really well. Yep. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Pulled another product I hadn't used in a hot minute. I cleaned out some of my drawers like right in front of me. Here's the Believe Beauty bronzer in Hawaiian Glow. Believe Beauty is sold at Dollar General, the general. And so this was, I don't know, stuck in the back as things get stuck in the back with my collection. And so, happy to pull this out again. Do not worry. Darling, I will blend. You are worried, I know. Look at this mess. Okay. It's a, it's a beautiful product, like love. Love this bronzer. And I don't know why it got stuck in the back. I don't know why I couldn't get to it. It's because I had stuff in front of the drawers. You know, like you do that, you have something that's got drawers. So you, and then you run out of space, so you put stuff in front of the drawer. And then you can't open the drawer. It's a whole mess, all that. That's what happened there. So I got in there. Look at that. Look at her. Okay. Okay. Let's blush. Ooh, do we have a blush that we want to use? Blush pull. Why don't I have a blush pulled? Hold on. What's this? Hello Kitty bundled up. Cute. Usually I have a couple blushes out that I'm like, I'd like to use these. I don't have any pulled right now. Okay. She's a glowy blush, but she's pretty. That's cute. Color pop Hello Kitty. Oh, throw things. Wouldn't be my channel. All right, let's go in with the highlighter palette. Yes. We'll see how she does. Let's see. Gosh, that's pretty. I kind of just want to swirl my fan brush in the in the four over here. Let's do that. Let's just get a big old crazy amount of highlighter. I do that sometimes. Do y'all do that? Just swirl your brush? You're like, I don't know which one, so I just do all of them. I do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's cute. It is cute. Thank you, Mr. Mugwump. I love it so much. Okay. I'm going to buff. A this is in a backup container. It's not a backup product anymore. So this was the Hydra Mist powder. You know, the one that felt like water and it was really cold going on. That's what this used to be. Well, then I had a Makeup Revolution skin finish it's in a per it was in a like a pinky shade real pretty shade I mean super pretty uh, and it it broke off it's a baked product broke off of its tile and in travel and so I was like well do I just want to like chuck it and I was like no so I ended up using up the hydra mist powder and then kind of milling down I have a mortar and pestle as you do when you're a makeup lover. And I crushed down the finishing powder from Makeup Revolution. Put it in, it's got the little mesh, right? It's a great packaging because that lid flips down to shut and you get no spillage. So just repurposing that packaging and that's what that is. That was also in the back of that drawer. So I pulled her out. Look, I'm just, 
powdery and everything else. My apologies to your senses. Okay, for, I'm itching. Again, that's how you know it's good foundation is if it's itching. For the eyes, we're gonna go really simple. We're gonna go one shadow. This is a, is a Shop Miss A find. This is a Velvet Mousse Eyeshadow in, by the Star Cosmetics. This is in 01 Morocco. It feels like absolute cream. Like, it's stunning. I have, I don't know how many shades of this. And we are gonna drop this all over the eye. We're gonna get it everywhere. Don't get it everywhere. Don't do that. Okay. And then I'm gonna use a quick brush to bling. Can I please bling? Hello. Oh, my brush is so dirty. Also pull, look, I had a color switch in there too, jeez. I mean, clean out the drawers, folks, because there's stuff in there you could use. And I'm just gonna buff above the crease and kind of buff this out. I'm gonna get a little bit on the brush and go underneath. Mama's going smoky today because I feel like it. I just feel like it today. It's a beautiful, taupey, shimmery gorgeousness. We'll do some liner and all that jazz when we're when we're done. Give me a quick look, y'all. Blend that out. Did y'all get any makeup for for your holiday gifts? Did anybody give you any makeup? It's really hard for some people to give me makeup because they don't know what I have, right? I mean, like, I have a lot. And so they're like, I don't know what you want. So I always try to put some things on my Amazon wish list so that they would feel comfortable that I don't have that already or else it wouldn't be on my wish list kind of thing. But it's, you know, it's hard to do that with, like, something other than what's available on Amazon, you know? Like, that's a thing. So, okay. I'm hazy. These are gorgeous. They're so pretty. I mean, they're pretty. Okay. Yep. Just smoky goodness. Smoky goodness. That's what we want. Okay. Let's do some smudgy liner. Let's do some tight lining. I think we're not even gonna wear lashes. Like we're just gonna go out today with the makes. All right, this is, I don't, mm, this might be too light. Let's maybe go black or something similar. What color are you? This is the Elizabeth Mott Smooth Shadow Creamy Eye Pencil in Raven. Let's just, let's just see what we got here. Yeah, that's pretty. Just putting on the color and then smudging with my ring finger real quick, like so that it's a little bit, you know. We'll go in and like tight line waterline with a black. Down my line lower. Lash line too. Like I'm going all out today. I don't know. Some days I just feel like smoky. Like why not Christmas Day? Why not? Yep, just grunging it, just grunging it. All right, let's line, tight line, waterline, Kat Von D cake pencil in Trooper Black. Hmm. 
Super grunge. Okay. Now I'm going to do a quick under eye smooge. There we go. Okay. Let's curl lashes. I think we are going to wear a pair of lashes today as well. Why not? It's crazy. We'll do what you want. First, we'll use some mascara. I, I had to throw away um, the Jordana, whatever it was called, the Jordana mascara. I can't remember what it was called. Best Lash Extreme. There it is. It flaked so bad yesterday. Um, but I had it open for quite a while, like probably a couple of months longer than... I ought, but that yesterday was the first day that I really noticed that it was flaking. So I was like, yep, we're done with that. So that went out. And so I opened a new, a new tube. I don't know what it is. Let's try it by itself today. This is the Beauty For Real High Def Mascara in Just Black. I, this obviously came in a box. I haven't bought mascara like on purpose in quite a while because I have so many from boxes and I don't, I don't necessarily want them all open at once. So I have a back stock of mascara to use. This was one of them. Beauty For Real is a brand that I've had a couple of different kinds of products from. This is my first time trying their mascara and that's not bad at all, kids. That's not bad at all. Okay. Again, beauty for real. Here, I'm going to show you the wand. I don't know that I did that. It's a little short stubby thing. Like a little... Hello. It's cute. Okay. That will do. I went ahead and did bottom lashes too because I liked it so much. Cool. Next up. Let's do a little quick inner corner moment. Um, I was using... Hello. I moved, I clean, y'all. When you clean, you can't find anything. Let's use the Stila Diamond Dust, like glitter and glow. It's almost dried up, but there's just enough that if you just want a little bit, you can touch it right to the inner corner like that. There we go. And I mean, I'll be happy to use this as long as I can um, in the inner corner. I don't know that it would go on the eye as well, but that's cute, right? That's cute enough. We'll use that as long as we can. Those dry out so fast these days, you know? Not not a fan. Okay, let's spray with... No. Yeah? Okay. The MAC Fix Plus in play. Probably should have done it for the mascara, but here we are. Welcome to my channel. I don't do stuff in order. It smells really good, y'all. That smells really good. It's like some sort of, you know, aromatherapy line or whatever where we read off all the other scents that they had. And there are a couple of them that I would be interested in smelling. But in the store, they don't have, like, testers like they normally say. He didn't smell it. But also masks. Smelling things through masks is rough. So he went with the citrus thinking, yep, and he was right. That was That's a perfect first one for me. That's a guaranteed I'm going to like it. I love citrus scents. Love, love, love. I'm loving this look today. Okay, let's work on lashes. Let's get some lashes. Actually, let me just, do I, I don't think I want to do this on camera, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on. These are kind of chunky. These are from AOA Studios. These are the Chloe. AOA Studios has great lashes. Invisible band, and they're gorgeous. I use my Duo Lash Glue with vitamins, which I like very much. Let's do a lip and then we're good to go. 
Jordana Easy Liner in Rock and Rose. And then let's use the Nude Sticks Lip and Cheek Pencil in Whisper. It's a beautiful nude. Yup. Mm -hmm. That's the look. Itchy nose and all. What do y'all think? Do you like? I do. I think that's really pretty. Mm, I love it. Looking good. Y'all, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you would love to see some more of my videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. That way all my videos come into your YouTube subscription feed for free. Once again, thank you so much. I hope you have a happy holiday season. Thanks 